Say rolling around, sitting on doves, can't my eyes high on shrubs. So then time welcome back with another video. I'm Strange Wang and he is Nate. Today we're writing to Rotten Tomatoes scores. I really thought this movie was gonna suck, so I'm glad it didn't. Cause usually these movies suck. Like a prostitute. <laughs> oh man. But it's so I'm glad different. it didn't suck though. 80% critically fresh. I'm also very surprised about that part too. I'm not surprised. I thought it was gonna be good. Uh, I feel like the timing was right. What that mean? Keanu Reeves is just like the man right now. I actually did watch this movie. I got a review coming out for it pretty soon. Hmm. Or it might already be out. I don't know. But this movie is great. It has that Edgar Wright comedy we both love. Mm -hmm. I love rap music, and it feels like a rap video. So 88% Creepy Fresh. Nice. I totally agree with it. Uh, you haven't seen it, so mm -hmm. from the trailer, no, but, did you yeah, think? Yeah, we did do a trailer reaction to it, and I knew that I was going to like it from the trailer alone. So I'm not surprised that it's 88%. And that's probably somewhere in the range that I would have guessed it was going to be anyways. But it looks hilarious and, like, unique. And I love that. I knew it was going to be a rotten movie. I didn't know how rotten. And I think because it took so long to get out is the reason why it's at 33%. And uh, around, like, the 40s and 50s. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on this? I haven't seen it either but i haven't seen it there. yet either but if a movie takes that long to come out because you wanted to, like i understand that the virus had a lot to do with it but before then it was reshoots and reshoots and reshoots and all this stuff and every once in a while a movie that goes through reshoots will end up being good but it's pretty rare so i'm not surprised i did a review on this film and i said it was so fucking terrible <laughs> I totally agree with this 26% because, like, you have two good concepts. Mm -hmm. Like, how'd you fuck it up? You know, you, like, your your only job is to know what you are. Yeah. And be funny. And you couldn't do either. Yeah. I, I haven't seen it yet, but, you know, it, se it had a good premise. It, it definitely seemed like a film that you could have made good, but apparently they did not. You know, I don't trust that score. Yeah. And I'm not like one of those Christopher Nolan fanboys. I don't have an Instagram account dedicated to Chris Nolan films. However, you gotta watch this up to this. English motherfucker, do you speak it? Exception a few times to really appreciate it. Sure. The Dark Knight, very rewatchable. But every time you watch it, you still catch little things in the movie, you know? Mm -hmm. He makes movies that live on. Yeah. So, especially with this shit, with the time going backwards, mm -hmm. that's confusing as hell. Right. And if you look away to eat your little popcorn or drink your Slurpee or whatever, you might miss some important detail. I'm definitely going to check it out. It's saying it is a good movie. I think it's going to be better the more you rewatch it. Yeah. I don't think you can trust that off the first ranking. Yeah. You know? I feel like I'm going to disagree with that score as well. And I feel like, I think we talked about this last week, actually. Uh, I think that part of the reason that it is there and it's not critically fresh is A, because there was just too much time for extra hype to be built around it, and B, there's also a political aspect to it because he pushed really, really hard for theaters to open back up so his movie could be in theaters, and there are a lot of critics. But there are a lot of critics. That's a fact. And there are also a lot of critics that I follow on Twitter and stuff, and a lot of them were, like, very upset about him pushing for that because, you know, a lot of people don't think it's time to be back out in public and things like that yet, which I don't necessarily entirely disagree with, but people don't know how to separate their job from their feelings. So I feel like there's a lot of politics in some of those lower ratings. So I feel like I'm probably going to rate that a lot higher as well. Especially, and I agree with you, because it is a Nolan film, especially after watching it two or three times. Tell us what you think about these Rotten Tomatoes reactions. Do you agree with us and how we feel towards them? Or you could say our reactions. That's what it is. Make sure you comment down below, scroll back up, hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe.